Well, we are still dealing with smoke, unfortunately, here across the Front Range, and we still have an advisory for that smoke across eastern Colorado. It looks like this is going to be slow to move out, not a lot pushing into Colorado to kind of get rid of this smoke. So air quality advisory for the eastern half of the state, air quality action day for tomorrow here for the Front Range. So even though the smoke will start to move out a little bit, we have that long reaching effects of the smoke sticking around for a few days. So not quite out of the woods yet, and it looks like we could see a little more move in for Sunday and Monday as well. As we get into the forecast here for wildfire smoke, the bulk of it moves into the central plains as we get into Sunday and Monday. Now we may see more surface smoke come into the area as we get through that time frame. We just have to wait a little bit to see how this is going to flush out in the next 24 hours. 70 degrees are high today, 46 are overnight low last night. Big change from our temperatures only in the 50s for much of the day yesterday. Our average afternoon high is 73 degrees this time of year. We're still in the upper 60s from downtown to DIA. Our winds out of the north northwest at six miles an hour. Now our current temperatures are in the 50s and 60s up through the high country. We have 70s here for southeastern Colorado and 60s and 70s for the northeastern part of our state. And we do have scattered showers for the higher elevations and down into the southern part of Colorado. But here in Denver, I don't think we'll see a lot in the ray of way, ray, way of rainfall. Easy for me to say. We'll have scattered showers here off to our northwest and those are moving up toward Fort Collins and also down to the south and they're not coming near Denver. So it looks like we have about a 20% chance of a random shower, but for the most part, these two areas are moving in different directions away from Denver. Also scattered showers up in the higher elevations off to our west and definitely to our south from Colorado Springs down toward Trinidad. So we're watching for these scattered showers to move on through for tonight. But as you can see on the future cast, not much happening here in Denver, but off to the west toward Winter Park, out toward Evergreen, uh, about an hour where we could see uh, some light rain moving through. As for our future cast into Sunday, we're going to have the smoke sticking around with partly sunny skies tomorrow. Temperatures will start out in the 40s and 50s. We'll have 40s and 50s here around Denver and in northeastern Colorado in the 40s, mostly 30s up toward Red Feather Lakes, Red Feather Lakes and Estes Park. Our exercise forecast tomorrow in the 50s early on will be in the 60s and 70s as we get closer to lunchtime. Afternoon highs in the 70s here tomorrow afternoon. We'll have those 70s stretching up toward Fort Highlands, mostly 50s out toward Frisco and into Keystone and 70s here for northeastern Colorado as well. 60s and 70s off to the west into the high country. Now the future cast bringing in those scattered showers in the heat of the day off to the west and to the south tomorrow. It looks like it'll remain dry here in Denver, but staying warm temperatures in the 70s, even 80s going into next week as a warm front pushes across the state. It'll stay warm here until we get to the middle of the week. And once we get into Wednesday and Thursday, temperatures drop and we have better chances for rain moving on in. So temperatures in the 70s here Sunday and Monday, 80 on Tuesday, a few scattered thunderstorms, but storms are likely Wednesday and Thursday. Highs in the 70s, but we're back in the low 80s Friday and Saturday with a few more storms next weekend. All right, let's get that smoke out of here. Thank you, Stacey.